Hey, Matt. Hi, Nick. You want to play some Dishonored? Yeah. I love this game. <laughs> I uh, I really like it. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know if I love it, but I... I almost I look love forward it. to playing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I actually just beat it. Yeah. Um, and I'm about halfway through, so... Yeah. Have you seen this mission yet? I saw you play this one a little bit. Okay. I haven't played it yet. Yeah. This uh, is, I think, the next one I'm about to play. So this game is a... Uh, it's a, you know... Deus Ex. It's, it's actually designed... One of the lead designers is uh, Harvey Smith, the main guys behind the original Deus Ex. Oh, okay. Um, and it's very much in that vein of game. Okay. Uh, so it's very much Deus Ex, uh, System Shock. Um, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That guy's got blown up. Uh, except it's sort of steampunky magic. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, I can do this. Boosh. It's your uh, blink. Yep. You can kind of move that's through a, space. That's a sweet move. It is, yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, so it's, you know, it's a very much like put you in a situation, give you a bunch of tools to deal with it, and then mm -hmm. go to town. Sure. Um, and it's, uh, it takes place in this, uh, like I said, steampunky world. Mm -hmm. It's uh, designed by, I forget the guy's name, um, but... Uh, oh, yeah, the same guy who uh, designed... The art designer City is, 17. Yeah. From one the of my favorite from games, Half-Life Half -Life 2. 2. Yeah. Let's see what these guys are talking about. That's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing, and they had one of their... Yeah, the aesthetic of this game is just fantastic. Yeah. The, the city... All the people, all their clothing, the weapons. I mean, it's just such a yeah. The, the a, atmosphere, you know, amazing world in which general in is this funny because I really Whoops. dislike steampunk, but uh, something about this world just yeah. They they, they do it right. Well, it's, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it, not blatant steampunk. Right. It's uh, but it certainly has that vibe. No one's no one's running around with you know giant uh metal shoulder pads or anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's sort of that, I guess, Victorian England level of, of technology and mm -hmm. aesthetics and stuff. Yeah. That's not... Can I go over there? No, I can't. I don't know. No, no. Uh, so I'm trying to sneak into this party. Yeah. Uh, this is very much a sneaking kind of game. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like being a rogue... Uh, this is the game for you. Alright, so now I'm within the ground, so now I can put away my weapon. Okay. And I, I snuck into this, it's a masquerade ball. Ah. Uh, so because the main character has that crazy, crazy mask, mask. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, the exploits of the main character are now famous in this world. Yeah. Everyone in this party is just gonna think I'm dressed up. Sure. Uh... For the party, yeah. For the party. Yeah, because you're a wanted man, so you wear this mask all the time. Yeah. But, uh... Now it's okay. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> what? Is he... I should cut them out entirely. Is he not the doorman? Oh, what's that letter on the, on the ground? What? Turn around. Left, left, left. Right there. Yeah, that's... No, left, right. There. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Weird. I actually oh, thought yeah, I had that go. already from a previous mission. Oh. Uh, anyways. So yeah, there's a ton of different ways you can uh, um, you can go about everything. This is totally different to how I got into this party the first time I played this mission. Sure. I didn't even know you could do this, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's because you started the mission by itself, as opposed to playing through the game. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, what do you mean, the, come this way? I can't... You didn't open a door for me. You gotta go around to that door, I think. Oh, I see. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. Yeah. There you go. I just had someone here pretending to be you. Another party game. It was... Uh, yeah, so... 
Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> oh yeah, so the the basic structure of the missions is you have to. Uh, um, oh, this guy's going to challenge me to a duel. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll talk to him. That's crazy. Crazy mask. mask. Um. Pendleton. So the the basic structure of the missions is. Uh, you were uh, falsely accused of uh, executing the empress of yeah. this city. You were, you are her uh, former bodyguard. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, so now you're going around and oh yeah, I gotta go pick up the weapon first. Now I'm going around and killing all the people that are responsible for framing me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. And uh, so each mission is you're killing another person or set of people or mm -hmm. something. Um, in this one, I have to get into this party um, and uh, figure out who is my who my target is. Oh, all, it doesn't tell you. Dressed up. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, and so before this, there was a lot more. <laughs> All the missions leading up to this a lot more not I mean, I wouldn't say straightforward, but it was a lot more, you know You're given a target and they say this is the target, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're given a target. Um and it's a lot more uh sneaking around. Yeah. Been some time here. <laughs> nice. Witchcraft. <laughs> um, like you were saying before, you have to kill these targets, but uh, a big part of this game is that it has options to the way you complete missions. Yeah. Um, so you can kill Mr. X, or you can do things a different way and do a non-lethal solution to the mission. And usually the non-lethal ones are a little harder to pull yeah. off. There's an extra, like, you have to just knock them out and then take them to a certain area. Yeah, or do, do a little something extra. Uh, but that's a really cool dynamic. Um, so, but before this, this game, like, all the missions leading up to this were, were a lot more, you know, you alone sneaking around. So when I got to this mission, this kind of blew me away. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh man. Because up, uh, up to great. now, you're hiding in the shadows, you know, sneaking yeah. around. Now you're walking... Now I'm walking through this right classy, with people, yeah. <laughs> classy masquerade ball. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the Lady Boils, so uh, I have to kill one of them. Okay. Um, but I don't know which one is which. I see. Because they're all dressed up the same. Though I can... Pick a pocket. Huh. Thanks. Yeah. It's a little funny at this party. You can pick everyone's pocket and yeah, yeah. They don't. They they yell at you, Sometimes but nothing really say, happens. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! Don't do that. Yeah. Actually, but then there's you can one guy on over it, yeah. here. Maybe he'll say it you again. Oh. I know your mission. Ugh. We must speak privately. Oh, I don't want to go anywhere private with you. <laughs> so again, land is worthless now. Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. You can listen in on people's conversations. And well, no, it gives he, was, you, uh... he was just talking to me. Did you catch that? Oh, no, I didn't. I yeah. picked up, I just stole that thing off the off the table there. Yeah. And he said, go ahead, take it. Everyone does. <laughs> I had my servant sew me an extra pocket. <laughs> um, Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? So, yeah, there's some steampunky magic technology. Ooh, what are those? What is that thing? That will kill me if I walk through. Oh, well... Well, don't. You want to see what happens? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So this mission, it just yeah, it's really quite quite different than from what. Uh, yeah, like really, like, and it, you know, it was just like, wow, this game's great. Yeah. And I just had so much fun walking around this party and talking to people. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was already <laughs> having a ton of fun sneaking around. Yeah. And that's awesome. Well, it kind of shakes things up a bit, because you do, like, four or five sneak-around missions, yeah. and then it, it throws you this. So like, oh, yeah, there's 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 more to this game, you know. This is a uh, one of my favorite parts about this mission. Hmm. You can go over here to the guest book. <laughs> you can sign, sign it. The guest book. <laughs> awesome. 
<laughs> Look, Corvo Atano. Nice. That's me. <laughs> I'm not wanted for multiple murders or anything. Nope, nope. <laughs> awesome. So here's uh, another way. So you can go, you can get upstairs um, and sneak around up there, even though they have it blocked off here. Sure. Um, and uh, if I use my, I don't know if I have the, no, I don't have the dark vision that shows me that yet. Uh, the upgraded dark vision um, shows you how ma the machinery connects up, so you can go like disconnect the power. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just totally shut it off. Or right, there's one of the other lady boils. Hmm. What a deliciously sinful mask. <laughs> to keep them safe. Emma, you could. How do you find out which one is which? You have to keep talking to them, or? Um. Well, the way I did it before. Uh, was there was a lady that was oh, that's the third one. Nope, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, oh, yeah, there it was. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know you. I love oh, the yeah. aesthetic of this game. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Actually, this, uh, this mission in particular <laughs> feels very Bioshocky to me. Yeah, just because of the people in these crazy masks, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's that very, uh, you know, early scene in Bioshock of the aftermath of a masquerade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so this guy is giving me the non-lethal option. Oh, okay. He, uh, he's it's sometimes the non-lethal options are worse. Yeah, like yeah, he, it, it's not always a black and white good yeah. or bad. Like, oh, the killing option is bad, the non-lethal is good. Not really. Sometimes the non-lethals so, are really unfortunately, horrible. Unfortunately, yeah. the game kind of does present it that way. Yeah. Uh, the game... Be quiet, cell phone. <laughs> the game uh, does present it as if you're being a good... Like, it reward, It straight up rewards you. More yeah, for doing the non-lethal stuff. Yeah, I'd be so grateful. But I, um, I like, I like how this lady wants me to get her a drink. It's not black and white like that, you know. Yes, um, but but I'm saying right, it isn't black and white. But then the game sort of, you know, pretends that it is. Yeah, I just I sort of wish it just didn't reward you for doing it because, for example. This guy that just talked to me, he wants me to... He's in love with the, the Lady Boyle that I'm trying to kidnap. Yeah. Um... Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? This guy's just gonna straight up tell me. <laughs> or this lady. Ah. Perhaps she's pretending to be a virgin. So they're they're playing a guessing game with their colors. You're supposed to guess oh, party goers. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but she just told me which... The other guy told me her name. And that lady just told me who, who, which one that was, was wearing. Okay. The pretend that sentence made sense. Yeah, yeah. I got, so I got, I got. Lydia Boyle is who, and she's wearing black. Ah, uh, okay. I think that's different than last time I played this. Oh, interesting. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but so that guy that yeah, I was talking to, he wants me to. He's in love with her, and he wants me to kidnap her for him. Yeah, and yeah. he's gonna take her away on a boat. <laughs> no guests past this point. Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what about? Actually, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Uh. <laughs> um. So yeah, he's he's gonna take her away forever and force her to live with him. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the other it's ones like, were uh, even worse. Man, I mean, like I don't straight know if up. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh, hi. hi. Hi there. Oh, hello. Hi, same person, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But no, like you were saying before, I, I okay, wish as well that the game didn't reward you for one option or the other. Uh, yeah. Because that would have made the choice... The, the way it is now, you, you can just play, play it as a video game and choose the non-lethal and get rewards. Right. It, it takes any sort of... Uh, debate with yourself out of the equation. It's like, yeah. should I kill this guy, or should I do not, you know, should I not and do the other thing? But, you know, you get rewarded by the game for doing the one option, so there's no reason really not to do it. <laughs> yeah, and you get a better ending, too. 
Uh, like I did the, I didn't do completely non-lethal. Like I ended up killing a couple guards accidentally here and there. Yeah. Um, but I didn't kill any of the main targets. Yeah. And I caused a low amount of chaos. Okay. Uh, so. Did you have a, a noticeably better ending? I had a pretty good I guess good you ending. don't know what the other option is. I don't know what the other ones were, but yeah. I can't imagine an ending being much better than the one I got. Okay. Uh, but I'm not, I'm sort of outside the scope of that, so let's yeah. just kill this guy. Yep, that works. And it, you could have also just, like, done a stranglehold on him. Yep. And just yeah, knocked him out. you can strangle him and knock him out. Yeah. Which takes a little longer. Yeah. So, you know, it's a little harder. Yeah. Uh, there you go, buddy. Have him take a bath. Oop. Oop. <laughs> there we go. Now you just bashed his head on the tub and gave a concussion. Good job. Man. Yeah, well, no, actually, <laughs> I, I've totally done... That's... Oop. Oop. How? <laughs> uh, so, some of the textures that, that's, on yeah, the that's, Xbox version are not good. That's a gross texture. A lot of the textures look very, like... They're very compressed. Yeah. And, you know, it's an Xbox, I guess, so... Well, yeah. The system is very old now, yeah. as far as video game systems go. They're, so. they're squeezing mm. all the mileage they can out of it, you know. Maybe. I'd be curious to see how the PC version compares. It's pretty. I've seen You've videos, seen videos? screenshots, yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Nope. Let's, I want yeah. yeah. Sometimes positioning this thing with the blink is a little tough. Yeah. Uh, but... Overall, it's that, still an awesome mechanic. The blink yeah. is just super fun. <laughs> yeah, I love the hell out of it. Oh, there's a painting oh. we can steal. I think. Cool. Mine. <laughs> you just tear it off the frame. Yeah. yeah. Where do you put it? I just yeah, fold it up and stuff it in your pocket. Stuff it in my pocket. I guess. Doubt it'd be worth much after that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here's another way. Up here, you you can f read their diaries and find out which one is which there also. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, there really are a lot of options as you're going Oop. through the game. Uh, which is cool. I, I It's, you know... Yeah. I like games that let you uh, play around with stuff and, you know... They don't, you know, just put you on a linear path. Like, do A, B, and C, and then you're done. You know? Yeah. This game, you can do it in multiple ways, and that's refreshing. Yeah. I mean, you know, there are a lot of games that do that, and I'm glad this style of... That's a lot of pearls. Yeah. Um, oh, rich. Look I'm glad that style is coming back, I guess. Yeah. There's another fun power. <laughs> you can possess. Possess. Uh, you can possess animals the first level, and then uh, you can possess people the second yeah. level of that. Cool. <laughs> Which, I actually never used this very much, honestly. Yeah. I haven't used it very much, either. Uh, I mostly used, um... I, I lived and died by dark vision. Yeah. I used this like crazy. Yeah. Well, it it's, comes in handy. You can totally sneak up on guys, you know. And, and you can and see where they're blink. looking, you this know. Is great too. Yeah. So let's choke this guy just so I can. Oh, Oop. or not. Let's uh. Get over here. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh, Oops. damn it! You go to sleep too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, combat in this game is really great. I like the sword mechanic. There's like a block and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Oops. I just totally got that guy's foot stuck in the door. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just get the lethal crossbow. Yeah, just shoot these guys. Yeah, you gotta shoot him in the head. That's how you hit him. That's how you kill him with one shot. They snore too when you knock them out. Yeah. Damn it! Someone's down. Thy hands not be restless. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Give yourself up. Come out. 
Disoriented by Overseer device? What's that about? That's that music box that those guys have. Oh, okay. It uh, inhibits your so, powers. Yeah, so now I can't... I think I can still use Blink, but you can't use some of the other ones. Okay. Interesting. Or maybe it just went away, I don't know. Yeah. Um... Oh, another cool, uh, another thing that I really like about this game, so there's RPG mechanics, but the progression is actually, there's no XP. Yeah. You don't level up by doing stuff and killing people, you have to go find it. Yeah. So you find these runes, and then you use those to spend on new powers and upgrading. Yeah, open up the, the menu ones. real quick, you can see, uh, the powers... Um, so you can see on the right, in the red, and it says, yeah, cost so-and-so runes. Yeah, so that, the second level of Ben Time stops it completely, but it costs eight runes. And that's a lot. <laughs> yep, that's a lot. Yeah. There's maybe four or five runes in every level, I yeah. guess. And there's nine levels. Um, so these are, like, passive stuff also down here. Yep, yep, and, and the top powers. ones are, yeah. Abilities. I never even got these last two. Yeah, a swarm of rats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to find the stuff, you pull out this gross heart thing, <laughs> and then the stuff appears on your map. You can see the little icon I, there. I it like says the rune. gross heart thing. I think it's gross. <laughs> it beats faster the closer you are. It's really gross. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes the controller run yeah. too. Also, you can hit the. Uh, this was once the house of a high overseer. And there's the talking lady who. Talks during the game sometimes. <laughs> no, that's you can you hit you activate the heart. Yeah, and it tells you secrets. Oh, okay. About that's the area. That is. That's I I pulled the trigger to make it do that. Oh. And if you aim it at a person, I didn't realize oh. that's how that worked. Yeah. Everyone's all scared now. Oh. So yeah, they'll they'll she'll tell you stuff. Um, about characters and it's mm -hmm. reload. Yeah. Uh. I forget where this was. Yeah. Whatever. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, finding the ruins. And there's also bone charms, which are like mm -hmm. uh, just passive upgrades, and you can equip. A couple of them into slots. Yeah. And then there's also a dude back at your. Uh, um, oh, that's that's the uh, music box guy I see on the left. Yeah, that guy. That uh, device. Yeah. Those guys, if if uh, an alarm goes off or everyone's all the guards are on alert, these guys will crank that music box that makes this really crazy awful racket. Uh. And uh, you disrupts you disrupts your powers. Okay. Um. This game is so pretty. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, those are bone like, charms. Yeah. So I've got one that makes choking faster. Sure. Uh, there's also upgrades you can get at. Uh, there's a dude back at your uh, hideout. Mm hmm. That will upgrade stuff for you for money. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And you can buy weapons and ammo from him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not really weapons. There's not really, really, yeah. As far as weapons go, there's really just... Kind of start with all of them, man. Yeah. You always have the sword. Yep. Um, your sort of short sword on the right trigger. Um, and then you've got a crossbow. And then you've got a crossbow with a couple of different kind of darts. Regular darts and sleep darts. Yep. And, and you've got incendiary pistol. darts. And then you've uh, got a, yeah, like a flintlock. Yeah. Pistol. And there's like grenades and stuff, too, you can get. Yeah. Oh yeah, which and I've barely uh, used. You know. Spring razor traps. Yeah, yeah. Which I barely use that either because I was, you know, trying not to kill people. So. Yeah, I use um, grenades on swarms of rats sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I never yeah. thought of that. Uh, so I never. Um, okay, let's. Uh, I never. Uh, when I first started playing this, I was a little bummed out that there wasn't. A well, I'm talking. Let's. Load up a different mission here. Okay. Let's go to one just really quick because it's already getting long. But I uh, want to go to one that's outside. Yeah. And we can jump around some more. Sure. Because that is a super big part of this game. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, do the uh, third one. That's the last one I played. Or no, the fourth, the second one. That's an outside one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, so what was this thing? <laughs> um, I don't know. You wanted to play a different mission. Oh, That's what you're yeah. <laughs> uh, I was a little disappointed that there aren't more. There weren't more non-lethal options. There's way more options to kill people than there are not to kill people. Ah, uh, yeah. But as I went on, I actually grew to appreciate that. Because it's, you know, it's like, well, it's, yeah, it's harder. Yeah. It's sort of a... This That's game has yeah. straight-up difficulty levels, but then there's also sort of a dynamic difficulty, I guess. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Still holds the bigger streets and they've set up those walls of just challenging yourself to not kill people. Sure. Um, so the overall story is... I... I... almost really like it. Yeah. I don't know. I only saw the one ending so far, and I'm pretty sure that was the good ending. And I've heard a lot of people say that the ending is really bad. Hmm. And maybe it's a bad ending, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the good ending was really satisfying to me. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. It still was not... It was still very much a video game ending. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I still kind of wish video game writer people, you know, <laughs> would take more pains to... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have the... You don't have the... Uh, the bigger blink yet. Blink. Blink. Blink number two. Yeah. Now it's yeah. Hello. Yeah, the little one. Not possible. Maybe this isn't gonna be. Yeah, whatever. You can do it. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> While you're blinking, you're totally stealth, also. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's the longer choke too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's toss him in there. Um. Uh, I'm all over the place, even more than usual in this video. <laughs> what was I just talking about? Oh, the story. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I mean, there are some genuinely great characters. Like, the the boatman. The yeah. Samuel. The yeah. guy that, uh, that we just saw. Yeah. Drives you out to all of your missions. Mm -hmm. He is great. Yeah. I love Samuel. Uh, there was a... Like... At least for me, I don't know, it was genuinely touching to me. There's a scene uh, late in the game where you're saying goodbye to him, or he's saying goodbye to you Yeah. for an indeterminate, in, indeterminate amount of time. Sure. Uh, and that's... I mean, that genuinely sucked. I stood there and, like waited and watched him, watched his boat head out to sea and yeah. <laughs> gave a little salute to the television. Because <laughs> I was like, good on you, Sam. Yeah. You're a stand-up dude. We fought the good fight together. Ugh. The short blink sucks. Here we go. Yeah, so this is a, a huge part of this game, and it's awesome. Yeah, um, just just moving through this world, this very three-dimensional world. Yeah. Oh, this guy got shot. Yeah. That, that's a cool scene that I never saw before. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a huge sucker for any game that has good... Like, I, I just, I really love... This is kind of a weird abstract thing. And I, I think I might have talked about this before, but I really love... Uh, moving through a space mm -hmm. in games. Yeah. If that makes sense. It does, especially in this game. Uh, Just na navigating... Uh, yeah, navigating through a space. Mm -hmm. It's the reason why I always love the Prince of Persia games. Um, yeah. And this game has, you know, similarities to that. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, maybe not necessarily Prince of Persia directly, but it has that same sort of feeling behind it of uh, I'm here, how do I get over there using sure. the tools at my disposal? Sure. Um, and, oh, there's a cool thing over there. How do I get there? Yeah. How do I get there? However I get there is not obvious. Mm-hmm. Whoop. 
Ooh. Ow. <laughs> so reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah. Look at those guys. You should shoot them, thugs. Well. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could. Nope, hoping. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. I want to try to get around him. Yeah. Yeah, you can do like attacks from the air. Yeah, I could never get that to work. Really? Oh, I'd do it. Yeah. Really? You just kind of jump and then hit the button. Oops. Right, right before you hit the ground. And then you'll do an assassination. Oh, I don't have the dark vision. Oh, yeah, I do. I just didn't put it on the. Oh. <laughs> Let me out. Oop, that guy's, uh. gonna look right at you. That works. <laughs> Hang on, dude. Let you out. He wants to be let out. I owe you, brother. Uh, so I actually really like the character designs in this game. Yeah, I've I've heard other people say that they don't like the they don't they don't like the character designs. And they don't like the faces, especially. I think there's some awesome faces in this game, I, especially yeah. this guy's face. Yeah. I straight up love them. Like, yeah. look at all the cool detail in there, and it's. Stylized and kind of cartoony. Yeah, you know? so it doesn't. That's why I like it though. There's, they're not trying to be. Not going for photorealism. You yeah, know? and thus doesn't uh, delve into uncanny valley. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, it fits this sort of fantasy world. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a real place. This is a a fictional. Yeah, world kind of based on reality, so, you know, the people look like people that are possible, but they're also kind of fictionalized, so... The, it makes sense that these people would live in this cartoony fantasy world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got a bone charm. So there's a bone charm. Yep. And there's, there's a thing, thing that's worth money. Yep. Doesn't matter what it is, just sell it. <laughs> I also like that they sort of skip the middleman on that stuff. You pick stuff up and it just oh seventy five coins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have uh, to go back and you don't sell the menu things. And, yeah. yeah, it just turns into money. <laughs> um. Stupid goddamn. Oh, but yeah, I mean, if you uh, if you like these kind of games, check it out. Oh yeah, definitely. It's this fantastic. is all the rage right now. I think uh, at least from what I've been seeing on the interwebs. It's uh. I don't, people I don't are liking it. All the yeah, people people are liking it. I think XCOM is getting more press oh. and more excitement. Okay, which is fine because that game looks fantastic. Also, yeah, yeah. Um, and I just got it last night. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> so <laughs> stay tuned for the video. Later. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that'll so, do yeah. it for Dishonored. That's um, oh, those rats are eating that guy. Gross. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, just one or two rats will leave you alone, but when there's a swarm, yeah. they will totally eat you. Um, and they will... Uh, and uh, it's really so gross. So there is a... Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, that's really gross. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a whole... I wonder if it'll show me anywhere. Probably not. But there, there's a, a really weird and kind of not very well uh, explained mechanic in this game of chaos level. And it's like oh. the number of uh, the number of so there's a plague going on in this game. Obviously, yeah, there's um, dead bodies everywhere and the dead tons bodies of rats, everywhere yeah. and rats and stuff. <laughs> and uh, the more people you kill, the more you feed the plague. Yeah, well, there's that, also like infected zombie people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, that um, increases the chaos. And the chaos level, I'm pretty sure, is what dictates the ending. The, the ending that you're yeah. going to get. So I ended the game with low chaos. But it doesn't really tell you that anywhere, I guess. Does it, it does after missions. Oh, on the, yeah, there's like a stat screen. Yeah, yeah. on the after okay. mission stat screen thing. Sure. You just said what? I don't know. What? 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 <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, and here's a map. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I really like this game. Yeah, yeah. Go, go find it. Go play it. Yep. Maybe get it on the PC. Yeah, yeah. If you if you can swing it, yeah, it'll probably look better. So yeah, there it is. So, yep. Thanks for watching. Sonard, thanks for watching.